Hello, Daryl Gould. Welcome to Papa Scott Television. Daryl, is he, he brought a storyboard this evening. Daryl, what is your story about? Uh, I wrote a screenplay for Captain Marvel, or Shazam as it's titled. Uh, some of it's set in uh, the 1940s, 41, San Francisco, and the bombing of Pearl Harbor takes right. place during the film. Really? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Why the historical timeline? Uh, the historical timeline, uh, I, I admire the times that, that uh, it was set in. Um, right. I find the, the story worked best in, the, in that time setting. Uh, it worked well with the plot. Uh, there were some actual historical points that I could write into the plot and uh, make it, f like for a history buff even, it would be right. great to watch because right. you could tell that that actually happened. I see. Mm -hmm. why, why Captain Marvel? Uh, well, I've, I've had one of my earliest memories was of watching uh, the Saturday morning uh, Captain Marvel right. series in the 70s that was done uh, with, uh, I think his name was Jackson Bostwick. Right. He was playing the role at the time, and, uh, I, can, and I always had some comic books, and, I, and as I started to collect when, when, I, when I was a teenager, I got lots of Captain Marvel mixed in with my other things as well, and that's how I became involved with Captain Marvel. And so what do you plan to do with your storyboard? What would you like to do? Well, I'd like to f find a producer, someone to pick it up, uh, possibly, you know. I'd like to see it eventually made, of course, into a big film. Big as can be. And when, when you were a child, did you read a lot of comic books? Alone? So, I seem to remember a Shazam when I was a kid in comic books. Um, have you had anyone approach you about copyright? Uh, I've, I've studied up on some of the copyright rules of course I don't want to right. step on anybody's toes I'm not trying to trying to uh, do anybody wrong uh, I've, as I understand it I can pick a character and uh, write anything I would like about it right. but uh, I'm pretty limited as to who I could sell it to which would be the owner <laughs> they would have to license it out to be used and they would have to approve and stuff but I wouldn't be able to do anything without their approval as I understand it and I'm not trying to right so I've heard a lot about zines. They seem to be very popular. Um, do you have you connected with that world yet? Uh, not really. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm trying to make this a film for everyone. <laughs> uh, right. I, I don't think I should make a film that's uh, for a certain crowd. I'm trying to make one for everyone, something that everybody can can pick up on. As they watch it, as, it, with some of the greatest films, as you watch them over and over again, you will pick things up that you missed before. Right. And this would be good for, uh, this I think you'll Why find this in this Why superheroes? Well, uh, with, I've seen a lot of the films that came out that were uh, superhero films. Uh, right. Some of my favorites were Rocketeer, uh, the first Batman film, uh, the first two Superman films. So you probably saw things that you'd like to change. In stories, you'd like to have different endings or something. Yeah, after so I saw the second inspiring. Batman film, I was uh, discussing to a friend what I think they should do with the third Batman film. Right. He told me to write it. I didn't, of mm -hmm. course. I just started with do Shazam. You, do you have any other main words like Bajam or something? No, just holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. Billy says Excellent. that. Excellent. It's not overly corny. It's not overly used in the in the thing. It's just it's at some particular times. And does one particular character say that? Billy Batson. Yeah, he's the kid. Billy the main Batson. Character. Does he have a love interest? He's ten years old. Uh, I I, as of yet, I haven't really written that in. Uh, I, the girls do look at him in certain scenes, and and uh, and he doesn't know how to handle it because he's ten. Uh, but so that, he has crushes on other girls, maybe. Uh, I haven't really gotten a chance to, uh, that, that part of his life isn't really explored, his school life, where he may uh, come into contact with girls, because the, the, the beginning of the movie starts with a traumatic moment. Right. And uh, he, you know, he's involved directly. Well, that sounds, that sounds very interesting. If you would like to uh, get in contact with Daryl, or help support him financially, or be a producer or something, then please contact him. Tell somebody you know. <laughs> At the Pepper, Pepper Scott Hotline. This is Sherry Craig.